Hear me out. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? Just the Savage here from Crazy Color Gaming. Welcome to a brand new live stream series on the channel, guys. Today we are going to be starting Fallout 4 modded and fully customized edition, if you really want to call it that. So, how are you guys doing? And I am hoping that people are watching this, and I know people aren't watching this because, yes, they are actually, never mind. So, I'm, I'm watching it. I know you are. So, um, so we're going to click this button called New, and this is going to allow us to start a new game. I have completely erased all previous data from this game, like all previous save data. So we are going to be able to start a brand new series and a brand new character. Does that sound like fun? I hope that sounds like fun because that's what we're going to do. But for yes. But first off, we are going to go into the settings because I do not like this green color. And we are going to go down to display. And in here, you can change a lot of the different options. You can change like whether or, want, whether or not you want the crosshair on. If you want it off, if you're one of those people, then you can, you know, turn that off. Uh, the dialog camera. I like to keep the subtitles on, and I'm going to keep the subtitles on for you guys as well so that you guys can know exactly what the people are saying. And so now we're Woo! going so now we're going to come down here and we are going to um make this red because red's my favorite color. Uh please let me know in the comment section uh what your favorite color is. And um <laughs> yes. And if if for for those of you who do not know uh if you are hearing him right now, I don't know if you're hearing him right now. But um, radical, Ra radical raccoon. He just, who just he, live streamed insane trilogy. He basically just took the words right out of my mouth. So <laughs> that's, that's kind of the point there, Spectrum. Why don't you just get on with it? Yes. So now, so I press the new button, and now we're going to press X to confirm, and then I'm going to shut my yapper so that you guys can actually watch this beginning cinematic. Any time now. I think the live by actual live stream on YouTube's a minute behind. <laughs> That's okay. <sighs> Why is it taking so long? Somebody please tell me why it's taking so long. If it's because it's one of those things you can't record the cutscene, I'm just gonna laugh. It's not one of those. It's not one of those. For those of you who do not know, Fallout 4 was actually one of the first video games released for PS4, I believe. Yeah. Okay, it finally starts! Shortages of every major resource. 
The volume is very low. I do not know how to fix that. Maybe I can go into the settings and, um, like, on the actual game and try to fix it. the happiest story I've ever heard. I didn't even hear it because of the volume. Was so <laughs> Sorry about that. That's my washer beeping. <laughs> Here, let's see if we could fix this. It's up at max volume. Okay, let's see if that changed anything. Get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, Mom. Okay, I am back. Now, well, let's see what we want this guy to look like, shall we? Hmm. There are so many different customization options. Are you still there, by the way? He's probably doing something. Uh, okay, um, I yeah, actually... I'm watching the live stream on my phone and I don't want the audio... Okay. I don't want the audio to uh, repeat, so I have my mic muted. Okay. So, let's see what we can see. So, now that we've done that, uh, we are going to modify his face. That nose is okay, but, um, gonna change it up a little bit. And yes, your spouse does respond, like she does react, like when you change features on your face and stuff like that. That is actually pretty cool. That actually does look natural for a face like him, but the tip is a little flat. I think I can change that. So I guess if we just move it, like... Maybe, like, oh, okay, now I'm doing this wrong, okay. Um, that, yeah, that looks like a good one. That looks like a good nose. Now we're going to bring this up. And then we're going to bring, and then we're going to give him different a different set of eyes. You're right. That's the reason why a lot of women say yes when a man first asks them out. Good, I do say so 
Well, if you were looking good, then I wouldn't be editing your face, now would I? Sean totally has your eyes. Okay. That's okay. That that's a good look. But let's give him let's give him uh let's give him brown eyes. Okay, now he looks like one of those freaky alien guys that you see in the movies. Uh, I guess uh, I am going to change the color again. Green eyes, yeah, that's okay. I um, guess we're going to change the facial hair. I do not want to go like into too much detail. Um... But I do want to give him, like, there is a look that I give a lot of my characters, and we're going to see if I can't give him that look here as well. Um, I do not know if they have a mustache like the one that I'm looking for, but I guess, beard or no beard. I think that's the best we can do. But let's see what other kinds of hairstyles there are for the top of his head. There are so many, especially when you get the DLC. There are a lot of... They unlock, like, a lot more, like, options for you when it comes to making, like, uh, uh, characters and stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty close to the hair I always give my characters, but... Yeah. Okay, I just noticed, like, why does his nose look like that all of a sudden? Like, I gave him... Ugh, okay, I don't know. Um, oh, man. Oh, man. No, we don't want to make him look like a woman. That would be weird. That would be weird. Um, screw it. We're, we're going to do that. And then... And then we're going to move his nose out again. There we go. Now, please stay that way. Okay? Okay. So now we're going to change his overall body. So I want him to be pretty muscular, but not too much. I'm like, more like thin. Like, like, um, that, 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 that's, that's pretty good. Um... To tell you the truth, I really don't see anything else that we can do. Like, what do you guys think I should do with this guy? I mean, other than name him, of course. Hmm. I'm taking a look at his face. I'm trying to figure out, like, what else we can do with him. Ugh, okay. His nose is really getting on my nerves. Like, it, it, it's just getting on my nerves. What do you think, huh? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? <laughs> yeah, big ears. Yeah, like, that's going to happen. <laughs> I'm just playing. But, um... But the th but I just I don't know I mean I like his ears like the way they are maybe make him a little smaller I don't know but uh, oh now he just looks like a and like he just now he looks like a stern father if you give him a chiseled nose uh oh yeah that's handsome like yeah let's make him look like Pinocchio for a second yeah let's let's do that. You fell in love with Pinocchio? This woman really needs to discern reality from fiction. Okay. Okay, that is much natural. That is much more natural. There we go. Oh. Okay, I actually wanted to save that, but apparently not. Okay. Let's I'm trying to put it back into the There we go. Okay. Okay, guys, what should I name him? Like, somebody give me, like, an idea of, of, like, what to name him. And 
you see that robot in the background, that one that's going back and forth in the background in the hallway? He will actually recognize a lot of names. Percy. I actually see that. Yeah, I'll actually go with that. Uh, we get to name him here in a little bit. Um... So we're going to play as a male. Now, I'm not going to give away anything. I want you guys to actually see what happens. So, we are in the pre-apocalyptic world right now. This is Codsworth. Thanks, Codsworth. Yes! So yeah, that's Codsworth, and he actually plays a bigger part in the game than you think. I mean, you think he's just a simpler, simple robot butler, but um, he actually becomes more than that. So we can have, we can drink some of that coffee that we love so much, and um, this comic actually does become useful uh, once the game actually starts getting going. Like you're actually going to like like what it does. Yes, go do that, please. Instead. What do you guys think if you had like a robot butler of your own? Would you be scared or would you be nonchalant about it? Please let me know. Okay, so we have a weather forecast. That is good. So, the, your wife in this game is a lawyer, and you are a member of the U.S. military. And, um, but you guys are going to see what's going to happen. Oh, someone at the door. Is he going to, yes, he's going to ring the doorbell. You know, there has to be a reason why, like, your guy was always ignoring him. Okay, there's no need to sell it. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of total atomic annihilation. I just need to verify some information. That's all. Yeah, just give me the clipboard so I can do this already. Okay, so this is your special, and this is also where you get to name your character. Your special is Strength, Perception, Endurance, Charisma, Intelligence, Agility, and Luck. You have 21 points to spend. Now, how you spend these points determines what kind of of character you are going to play. So therefore, if he has very high strength, he's going to be able to carry a bunch of stuff, and he's also going to have a lot of physical damage resistance and a bunch of other resistances. Perception allows you to... It, it's your environment awareness and st and sixth sense and affects weapon accuracy in VATS. VATS is the targeting system used in this game and um, some people use it, some people don't. I use it but not often. Endurance, this affects how much health you have and how quickly you move around. Charisma, this affects how like, like your um, social interaction and um, and ha and how much you can convince people to do certain things uh, and stuff like that. The higher the charisma, the more um, 
manipulative that you're going to be be over people. Intelligence, this affects like how much experience you make, uh, how much, um, like is a measure of your overall mental acuity and affects the number of experience points earned. Agility is, um, it's actually really good. It increases your AP, which is your action points. And you use action points in VATS and for um, a plethora of other things uh, that that have to do with reflexes and accuracy. And then luck. Um, luck, I believe all it really affects is like how much loot you find in like, th in like different things and um, in, in different containers. And it also um, affects um, critical strike chances. So um, we are going to play a fairly intelligent person. Where he is also going to be strong too, because I want him to be able to carry a decent amount of stuff. He is also going to be charismatic. Um, let's give him some high endurance, and then um, and then we can increase agility, luck, and perception as the game goes on. So now we are going to name him Percy, and I would like to give a shout out to Radical Raccoon for giving us the name for our character. Thank you so much for your um, contribution to the live stream, Radical. It is truly it is truly appreciated. again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. No, and believe me, we are going to be having a lot of moments. Oh boy. So yeah, this is Sean, and he actually becomes extremely relevant in the game. He is a cute looking baby, I'll say that. Now, I always like to play a nice person. I never like to be, you know, evil or anything like that. So, yeah. Please let me know if the volume, like, if me fiddling with the volume helped any. So now we have to run down the street, and we have basically have to follow this path. Oh, good. I'm glad it did. Okay, you know, here's something. If you have two people in power armor, one carrying a minigun, one carrying a, a laser rifle, and you have this guy who looks stricter than anyone I've ever seen before, then you would probably want to run away if he says, go away. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? everything hey. we can. Now keep moving. Step up the platform. <laughs> in the center. <laughs> oh, 
Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of them. We love you too. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Well, this just took a very interesting turn. I think everybody, like, I think we heard that clanking sound. I think that was everybody jumping for joy, saying, We don't, we're not under government control anymore! Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. Step over to the table. You'll need your suits before we can uh, take you further. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we have. Sir. Gosh. This, like, the vaults have always looked extremely sophisticated, but Fallout 4 is basically where they really amped it up to a new level. Okay. Just step in here and put your vault in. Sounds like a plan, Stan. <laughs> Initiating launch sequence. You have to imagine just how cold it is in there. Like, really cold. Oh no. Oh my. Well, that happened. Yes, it did. So, please, let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking of the live stream so far. <laughs> Did you catch a cold in there, sir? No pun intended, of course. Must 
going to open the door. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God! I'll find you, did this. And I'll get you on track. I promise. That... When I saw that for the very first time a couple of years ago, that was like the saddest thing. Like, well, not the saddest thing, but it was definitely disturbing. And you're going to understand why I'm picking up all of this junk here in a minute. <laughs> Hello, Techno. Thank you for joining the live stream. Okay, so we picked up a baton. Gonna beat someone over the head with it. Maybe. Actually, what am I doing? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to play. So, um, I guess I can show you guys VATS. So this is VATS. You press R1, and then you press... Uh, hold on, I need to get closer. So, you, pr you enter VATS by pressing R1, and then you press... You press X. Oh, wait a minute. Why won't it work? Okay, never mind. There we go. Giant roaches. Okay, yes, I wanted to sit down. Yes, this is basically what happens when you just experienced your wife's death and your kid getting kidnapped. You just sit down. Okay, so we just... So we're going to pick up all these beer bottles and all this other junk. Okay, and then we're gonna pick all this up. You guys want to pick up as much as you possibly can because we are going to be scrapping this stuff for materials here soon. And that's why I don't go down there because I don't want to end up like that rat roach on the floor. Hello, bug. Thank you. And thank you for dying. Yes. Where is everyone? Okay. Someone please explain to me how that happened. I because I do not know how that happened. Okay. Stim packs, yes. Stim packs, you actually, uh, stim packs are used to heal you, and um, you, you can. There is such thing as drug and alcohol addiction in this game, but you cannot get addicted to stim packs, so that's good. And plus, stim packs are weightless, so you can carry as many as you want and uh, it won't affect you. Now, we cannot get this weapon just yet, but it's called the Cryolator. I've never used it personally, but this weapon will allow you to freeze enemies in place. But in order to get the Cryolator, we need to unlock the case, and the only way to unlock the case is to have a master lock picking skill. And we are not going to have that for a while, so yeah. So now we have to access this terminal in order to unlock the door that will lead us to the main exit. So let us go down to open evacuation tunnel. Okay. And then... Ah, I am such... There we go. I wish I could switch between weapons. That would be really useful right now. I am... That was more annoying than usual.
We have the entirety of Crazy Color Gaming in here. Oh my gosh! There you go, I just showed you that. <laughs> for some, but for some random reason the game didn't let me show it earlier. I do not understand why. Okay. See, when in doubt, use VATS. Because if you don't use VATS, apparently, like, your character is going to be an extremely bad shot. I'm going to live stream uh, for... I think I'm going to go... You guys will see. Okay, so we need the Pip-Boy. That's the reason why I came up here. So this is the Pip-Boy. It is what you use to like equip weapons and armor and um, look at quests and you can even, they even have radio stations in here so you can listen to radio. Well, okay, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go until we get to Sanctuary and then I'm going to stop, stop it for now. So, in here you have different um, categories. You have stats, inventory, data, map, and radio. So, in the stats you can actually see like how much damage that you have been taking. And you do take limb damage in this game. Uh, you can take a look at the status of your legs, your arms, your head, and your torso. And each of them will end if they get down, like if you lose all of your health in one area of your body, that area will become crippled and you will have to use a stim pack in order to heal that area. So we're going to go over to aid. You, go to, you switch between the different menus by pressing left and right on the D-pad and then you use uh, the up and down to scroll through the different items that you have in those different categories. Categories. So, we have nine rad roach meat, which we can actually cook in different recipes. And then we have the stim packs, and we are going to use this, a stim pack here. Okay, bringing us back up to full health. Now you, can, now you will also take radiation damage in this game. Radiation damage in this game will decrease your maximum health. And you take care of radiation by taking something called Radaway. It's another drug that you do not get addicted from, but it will reduce your, um, the radiation that you have taken thus allowing you to get your health back up to normal. So now we're going to use the Pip-Boy to open the vault door, and we are, we are going to be able to see what a wonderful world lies above. It can open the door a little bit faster. Thank you! Okay, so, when we get on this elevator, when the door opens, it is going to give us the option of doing some last minute modifications to our character. But I like our character the way he is, so we are not going to change anything. So, as you can see, this menu pops up that says, do you want to change anything about this guy? Uh, I'm just going to say, finished, exit the vault. So yes, you can also do a large variety of different things such as pickpocketing, lockpicking,
picking, sneaking, stuff like that. And if you can pull off sneak attacks, uh, those will always result in a critical in a critical hit. Critical hits do extra damage to enemies and um, and stuff like that. Also, there is a um, there is a fighting dynamic that I learned from Dead Space that you can easily apply in the Fallout games. Um, but I think I will explain it once we actually get into the fighting. So here we go. Here's the beautiful world that we are introduced to. Welcome to post-apocalyptic commonwealth, everybody. Or post-apocalyptic Boston, because that's basically where we are. So we're going to come up here and we're going to start, you know, collecting stuff. And like I said, there is a reason why we are collecting all of this stuff, and you guys are going to see that here in a minute. Well, actually, I think you guys are going to see that in the next live stream, because I'm basically going to go down there and do something there, and then I'm going to end off the live stream. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Um... I'm glad that you two, that you guys are watching me play this. I have actually been wanting to show this game to you guys for quite some time. Um, so, we're just going to grab all this stuff. And then we're going to come down here. There is also a third person view. Let's see if I can pull it up. Yeah, you, you can enter third person by pressing down on the touchpad at any time. Um, there is a DLC. I have all the DLC for this game, but there is a, a DLC in this game called Automatron, and I'm really looking forward to doing that one. In that one, you basically get to build your own robots, and it's a little bit of a story and stuff like that. It's really fun. Uh, in my opinion, it's actually one of the only DLC, like, one of the only decent DLC that they made for this game, uh, other than Far Harbor. But I think, uh, but I will be showing you guys all the DLC in this Let's Play, so yes. Oh, look who it is! The guy who's been whacking weeds for 200 years. You have to wonder how horrible that really is. Like, I would hate to go through that. Our family's falling apart, you stupid robot! Codsworth's not stupid. But there are times when he can be. Or did you cook it and then wait for us for 200 years? If you guys saw that, there are, like, there will be times when you can actually use charismatic um, attempts on people, and depending on their color, depends on their difficulty. How about you try and clean up the entire world? It'll take you a few thousand years. Whoa, whoa. Focus, Con. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I didn't 
did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, a surprise. And then, oh, everything happened. Thank you, Captain. Okay, I just want to say something here. Lead the way. I'm just going to pause it real quick. Cods, you just told Codsworth that your wife is dead and your son has been kidnapped by an unknown person. And here he is, like, it's not, it's like he doesn't even believe you. That, that's, that is the stupid thing about this. I'm the only one here. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. There are times when you just want to let Codsworth handle all the fighting. Like there will come a point like very soon where you can actually have him like follow you around and help you fight and stuff like that. And your decisions will affect how your different followers and stuff like that view you. They've really added to the immersion with that. Okay, wife equals dead, child equals kidnapped. It's simple logic. Oh, now he gets the message. Okay. Well, um, I think I am going to end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching this live stream. Thank you, Radical, and thank you, Techno, for watching. I really do appreciate it. I have actually been, and like I said, I've been wanting to show you guys this game for quite some time. So now what I am going to do is um, I am going to end off the live stream, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. God bless you, and have a really good day. And um, that is if I can... Okay, figured it out. God bless you guys.